You know, the one like, uh, no one's gonna take me alive. I think it's like the Sidonia, Knights of Sidonia. That's it. Brain latency. I told you. I'm used to it. It's no big deal. I always remember. But yeah, man, I don't hear that on the radio enough lately. Um, I'm thinking of other songs like The Bad Sons, The Bleachers, um, but that was in the 20 teens. That's different. That doesn't conform to the idea or notion of uh, a special throwback 20 aughts song. And why would I go on at length about such a seemingly, I don't know, innocuous or otherwise non-consequential topic? Like, who really cares if if a radio station isn't living up to their obligation to the public? Like, they're just another corporate commercial entity, just another generic place to get generic music, right? No, 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 I don't think so. It's more like a hub of information distributed to the ignorant or what I would call the most vulnerable people of our population. Like, if you're not listening to an internet stream, you're probably underprivileged, more than likely, because FM radio is still cheaper to listen to than an internet stream. Like, FM radio is free if you got the fucking device. Internet usually requires a subscription of some sort and I swear man I did so much work at the ISP I worked for man as a tech support guy as a developer I should have a lifelong subscription to the internet for my contributions not to mention my my videos that I that used to be streamed over the RTMP protocol at access.tucson.org otherwise known as accesstucson.org. Yeah, man, there's a dot in the middle that makes it a subdomain. It kind of confuses people when they're trying to reference history on the Wayback Machine. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, it's just like when the special things in your life become humdrum, it just makes it that much harder. When you've already got terrible things to deal with, like death, sickness, poverty, frustration, anxiety, you know, addiction. Fucking FOMO, dude. What if you got FOMO up the ass? All right, what if you've got prejudice? You know, people don't like who you are, what you represent. What if you're just lonely? There's a lot of reasons to feel bad, and, and I know them all very well and yeah when you just crave something authentic you know something to yeah it kind of sucks when it's super generic it's not gonna attract any sponsors that's for sure is this thing on is this thing on i'm sorry i gotta check it, i'm a producer i gotta check these things that's my new emoji. It's a winky face um, with uh, three mouths and three chins and a belly button. That's I, that's my my random input that looks like an emoji. That was pretty random. Uh, pap, 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 pap. <laughs> I like it, though. It's attractive, wouldn't you say? As far as uh, a typical emoji. I almost feel, is there a different word I should be using? Because, like, the smileys, at, at the very beginning of it all, back 20 years ago, actually, smileys are even older than that, but they really caught on, like, 20, 25 years ago. Like, we called them smileys. Then some genius thought to call them emoticons, because most of us were using smileys to convey emotions, such as happy sad, um, flirtatious, or uh, maybe tongue-in-cheek, or maybe just like making fun of you.
Yeah, man. When you when your emoji when you used to use like the colon and the capital P, or maybe a lowercase p would work, would suffice. I don't know. Usually, it was like a little kid sticking their tongue out at you, like, <laughs> which can either be mean or or kind of playful, depending on the context. Like if you've seen that chapstick commercial with the little girl that like sees the security guard, like she's basically riding in the back seat, bored out of her mind. She could really use a Game Gear or a Game Boy, basically. And she's fucking with her chapstick, you know, probably got some chap lips. Or maybe she's pretending like she's a grown up. I've seen, I remember going to school and some little girls used to play with their chapstick like it was lipstick. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's like practice for being an adult. Anyways, um, and she's like, you know, kind of like making funny faces at everybody on the street and nobody gets it. But then the security guard, he goes like, Neh. that's a really good one. You, when you do like the moose antlers with the tongue sticking out. That's a real good one. That's like, 